Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. And also feel free to drop me a comment and let me know how this resonates with you. I love reading your comments, Leo. All right, let's go ahead and see. The overall energy, we have the moon in reverse, Cancer Pisces energy. Your person, the two of wands, 10 of pentacles. What you're not seeing, the king of wands. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Somebody here is gonna get something off their chest. Now it could be somebody that you're in separation from, Leo. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Some of you, there may have been some sort of third party or your person was making a decision between you and someone or something else. It doesn't have to be a romantic rival. But I think you've got someone with secret feelings who's seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles, which is gorgeous energy. It's somebody who's got it all, somebody who is self-made, somebody who looks good, somebody who's feeling good. This king of wands, they want to come in and like stake their claim, but I'm not getting that that's in any sort of creepy way, right? It's just like they want to step up in this masculine role and let you know how they're feeling. They need to get something off their chest. It really could be someone that you're in separation from or you're on the outs with. It could also, for some of you, just be a secret admirer with the moon card in reverse. This is someone who's definitely been in their head about you and they've been keeping secrets, most likely how much they're into you. And it looks like it's going to be revealed here. Um, so we see the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Some of you, I mean, this could be somebody that, you know, you haven't talked to. And they could be a bit avoidant. Um, they're going, they're revealing deep secret feelings here. Yeah, Five of Wands. And, and, and it is also possible if this is somebody newer in your life, Leo, it, they're going to reveal the truth as to like, you know, I was seeing someone else or it was, you know... Um, you know, I made a decision between you and someone else, but this, this person is definitely choosing you. And I know maybe that's not going to sit right with all of you, but you know, it's the reality here. If you're casually dating someone, they may have had other options. And by no means am I saying that's some type of flex. And I don't think this person sees it as a flex. Um, I definitely feel like this person is going to let you know. Um, also there may be some negative energy around you, Leo is what I'm getting. Like, I don't know if you have like a friend of me or coworkers or, um, maybe some drama around you. Um, this has come out in a few of my readings recently. Um, so it, it feels like the energy is, uh, there's like gossip or there are people that might be just not who they seem. Um, people, um, I don't know. I'm wondering if this person like heard there was some conflict or drama created. Um, if you have like friends or, or acquaintances in common, all right. This person has made a decision though. Ace of wands. They want you. They want only you. Yeah. They, they want to heal things with you. If there have been, if there has been conflict and drama and this person has been quiet. Yeah. They want to work things out. They want to get on the same page with you, Leo. Beautiful energy. They're seeing you as super compatible. I think they also see you as an earth angel. For some of you, this person um, may also be healing from something, whether it's finances or health issues. Um, Ten of Pentacles, they see you as Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah, they know that you're really exhausted. Some of you, they've been waiting for you to end something. Like maybe you were in, you know, in a job that you hated or a relationship or something like that. You could have also been dealing with family issues. This person knows that you're feeling exhausted. They're a little bit worried though that you're going to push them away. And yeah, possibly because of a third party. Mm, interesting. Yeah, this person might be worried, Leo, that you have other options. And, and I do feel this person with the five of wands here, Leo, is willing to fight for your attention, fight for your affection. They do want to beat out the competition. This king of wands is definitely not going to shy away from any competition. I love this king of wands energy because this is like somebody who's going to really match your energy step up. Yeah. And we see the chariot card. They could have cancer in their chart, but they're coming towards you. Yeah. The nine of wands. They want to fight for this connection. This person absolutely wants to fight for this connection. And 
you know, and, and I also feel they're, they're, they've been probably holding back and ruminating and trying to decide how to do this, but they're coming out of that. They're coming out of that because they know they need to act now, you know, or forever hold their peace. Basically 10 of wands in reverse. There's going to be a new start in your love life here. All right. Use your best judgment spirit saying, and the star card in reverse, this is going to be a bit of a tower moment. It's going to come as a shock or a surprise. All right, so some of some of my Leos out there, I was about to say Cancer, but I think it's because that Chariot card came through. So some of you could be Cancer Leo cusps, or maybe you just have strong Cancer in your chart. We also do see strong Aquarius energy, Aries, Leo energy. We have Sag coming through, um, Pisces as well. Um, some of those signs may resonate with you, but they don't have to. It's more of an energy read than a signs read. Um, but I am seeing too, like some of my Leos, you're just not sure about the future of this connection because of what's happened, because there's been um, fighting, there's been chaos, there's been, you know, avoidance. You know, this person may have like done a runner or they might be a bit of an escapist if it's someone you have been dealing with. So use your best judgment here. And we see the four, of, the five of cups in reverse, but there's definitely potential for healing and there's definitely an unexpected message or love offer coming your way, whether this is a secret admirer or whether this is somebody that you have a history with. Okay, let's see. Mm, let's see, what else do we need to know about this person for my Leos? What else do my Leos need to know about this person, please? Okay, this person is a night owl or they like to stay up late. I see either like watching TV or shows or something like that, but also like scrolling the internet, checking, you know, checking on you basically. They're motivated to come towards you. Absolutely. Cause it's like speak now or forever hold your peace type energy. This is somebody who's very supportive, loving and giving. And we also get religious. Yeah. But I, I kind of read this as hierophant energy. So this person might be kind of different than you come from a different background. Um, maybe you have different religious traditions, okay? Let's see. Or different spiritual beliefs, very distinct. Um, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. All right. So there's insane chemistry. You like each other equally. All right. This is, is a potentially, you know, an unconditionally loving situation. This is beautiful energy, Leo. And be lighthearted when this person tells you how they really feel. I think it's going to come as a shock and a surprise. And I want to go back to this judgment card. Some of you, you might feel like, oh my gosh, I misjudged this person. Or, you know, um, maybe they feel like they misjudged you. But these are all really positive messages. Yeah. I think a lot of my Leos, you may end up being very happy with this person. Okay. Let's see. Beautiful energy coming through here at the end, right? Um, somebody here is healing. I don't know if that's you, Leo, or it's your person. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Open your heart. Spirit saying, let this person in. Wow. Be open to this connection, Leo. Obviously, you know what's happened between the two of you. No good reader is going to recommend you go towards somebody who has been, um, you know, abusive or, you know, is in an unhealthy energy or is no good for you. But for a lot of you, oh, this is good news. All right. And we see responsibility. Some of you, they might come in and tell you there's been some health or some work issues that has kept them away or made them pull away from this connection. Or maybe that's why they've been quiet. All right. And we get double confirmation that you and this person are going to be falling in love, Leo. Wow. And this is a dream come true. So we're getting some fantastic messages here. Leos, I'm sending you so much love and light. Please let me know if you know who this person is, how it might resonate with you. Like I said, I love reading your comments down below. Also, um, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Leos. Take care.